Ralph Coates signed as the star from a relegated Burnley side in 1971 for a record transfer fee involving only money. I mean, he was a good player. He contributed a lot to Tottenham, uh, skill and effort combined. Uh, he wasn't a major star, but he had great energy and uh, you could play him on either flank. Great energy, great enthusiasm and pace and strong. And you know, He was a very useful club player. Whilst he did give great service to the club, playing nearly 250 games, he'll be remembered for one game and one goal. And if you're going to score a good goal, the best goal of your career, then try and score it at Wembley is not a bad idea. It's funny, football, it's a life of up and downs. And I started the day uh, disappointed when Bill said, I'm making you sub. I had a slight injury and uh, he wasn't going to risk me and uh, he put me sub. And um, so I made my mind up that I'd be watching the game for at least, it's a, it's a silly situation. You, you're hoping you get on, but you don't want to get on because you, you know the team probably be struggling. Uh, unfortunately, John Pratt got injured after 15 minutes, which was very, very sad because he's a mate of mine. And then uh, I came on a sub and how things changed in the course of a few hours. And uh, I scored the winning goal. Even to this day, people uh, stopped me in the supermarkets and tapped me on the shoulder and said, that was a great goal, you know, well done. Thank you very much for what you, you know, it's, it's tremendous and they still remember it. And again, Mike England's going forward, again a lower one. Chivers with a back heel. Now Mike England hoping to get in. Coates hoping to blast it in. And Coates has done it. Ralph Coates. A beautiful shot by Coates. And despite the barnets of Hoddle, Waddle and Jennings, it's Ralph that will go down in Spurs legend as the man with the oddest haircut. I have a certain sympathy for him. For Ralph Coates, um, because all of us who are, to put it in the, in the modern vernacular, phonically challenged, have that moment when they have to decide can we stop curving it across. Bobby Charlton went through it, uh, I, I went through it, um, probably not that much noticed compared with Bobby, I'm sure, um, and, and Ralph Coates was probably the extreme example because actually the piece that he had was thicker than Bobby's and mine. Uh, it was much more sort of wispy hair we had. He had quite strong hair. So, you know, it was a question of whether he was on BBC One, BBC Two or ITV where the aerial was, you know. It was ironic that I had to stick with it because people recognised me uh, because of the hair, you know. And uh, the winning goal at Wembley, I, was, I got an advantage because it was a swirling wind and it was a long throw from Martin Chivers and thicked on by Martin Peters and it was a swirling wind and it was because of my hair was falling from right to left and I knew where the wind was going so I was a step ahead. 